What's going on guys? Kevin here with Spang's World. Uh, we got a quick t Tech Tuesday for you. Uh, have you ever jumped in your razor? It just wouldn't start. The key on, but nothing. Well, we got a trail fix for you. I'm not throwing a code for this because I already fixed it a while ago, or at least did the trail fix. It still has the trail fix on. I'm just going to show you what I did and how you can get off the trails and stuff, or you can keep driving around like I did and <laughs> not worry about it. Uh, the brake sensor switch went out on me. Uh, got ready for a race, getting ready to leave the shop here, and loaded it up on the trailer just fine, no, no problems. Went back up there to move it a little bit or whatever I was doing, and it wouldn't start. I was like, everything just worked fine for me. And then uh, <clears throat> we got online, called my buddy Steve. I was like, dude, what's going on? I'm trying to make this race. He's like, you need to check the brake sensor switch. Uh, it's down here. Uh, let's see if we can get this to focus in. It's way down here. It's unplugged right now because I used it. Or don't have it plugged in. Right here. Scrap out of the way. Where's the rest of it? Here's the cable for it. Uh, I'm gonna uncover this real quick and stuff and show you guys how we took care of it. I clipped the end off of here. I had another wire inside the plug and then taped it in there. That got me to the race, but it just really wasn't holding. Uh, so we ended up snipped the end off and then connected these two wires together just to complete the circuit. If you ever put harnesses in your machine, let me pull the seat out real quick. Oh, shit. If you ever pulled the harnesses out of your machine, uh, you need one of these adapters or just tie the, or, or just connect the wires together itself. That's basically all we did is just complete the circuit right here so we can start it. I'm going to show you what it's like when without it connected. All right, we're going to start it without it connected and uh, see what happens. Show you what's going on. Everything looks normal <laughs> coming out here, but nothing. All right, it won't do anything. Brake pedal is pushed. Go to the key, nothing. Check the engine light. I don't know if it's throwing a code now or not. Let's check it out. 69 degrees, that's a good number. Eighty-four. Nope, that's still just a sweet sensor. Alright, let's reconnect these just so you no, I'm surprised I didn't have these soldered. <laughs> Haven't messed with them yet. Been holding strong for a while. Alright. Completed the circuit. Now it should start just fine. All right. Oh, we don't have to hold the brake. It lights up fine. There we go. There we have it. All right, guys. There we go. Uh, that worked. Kamikaze part could just be loose. I've heard online. Uh, now that we are going with people's opinion online, all the Facebook mechanics, I'm just a YouTube mechanic, so. <laughs> Your brake sensor switch probably needs to be replaced. Uh, I have one somewhere, I gotta find it. So we'll make a video on that next. Um, but yeah, this is this will get you by uh, if it goes out on you on the trail or before a ride or something. The downside to it is when you have it, you have no brake lights. All right, I got my Right set up here on the KC cyclone light. Uh, these lights are pretty handy and stuff. I just used it. I needed needed to add a brake light back here or something. I didn't have to for the racing stuff, but uh, once I went to a bed delete kit, I, I really wanted something back here just so people could see it. See, the light just stays on, so you at least do have light back here, uh, but there's no brake lights, which shouldn't be a problem. 
mainly just depends on who's following behind you and stuff <laughs> and if they're paying attention. Uh, if you're somewhere where you're riding down the road or you can go in between trails and ride on country roads and stuff, you might not want to be the last vehicle in line just in case a car comes up behind you or something and they're probably not paying attention, texting and driving or whatever while you guys are out having fun. All right guys, hopefully this tech tip uh, helps you get to your next ride or get off the trail. Uh, if this video was helpful, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already, and check out this next tech tip. It might help you also. Peace.